Then in around 2013, I was on a Skype call um, and with the Lahore counterpart of their family. And that's when Noreen and Sajad, Noreen is Sajad's sister. Sajad is the primary offender. They were both on the line. Intermittently over the years, we had contact and the authenticity of anything that he said was backed up by the fact that I had close relations with his family in Sydney. And, um, you know, he really put on the grooming when I went through a bit of a mental breakdown and I was really struggling and I, I was hospitalised and I absolutely needed the comfort and love of somebody. Um, I was a little bit more hesitant and like, you know, I'm a Westerner. I wouldn't ever get an arranged marriage. And I said, but I, I, I became okay over time with the idea of going to meet him to get to know whether we were compatible. Um, because if you'd asked me before I went whether I thought he was a good person, I would have said, he's like a saint descended from the heavens. He's here to help me. He would never harm me. No way. So everything happened in rather quick succession. Um, I then, you know, my, my visa had lapsed. Um, my passport and um, my, docu uh, my, my, my flight was cancelled. My passport was taken away. My um, wallet was taken away. Don't contact the Interior Ministry. Don't contact your embassy. They'll trace you. They'll find you. We're going to fix your visa, Lara, but until you do, you need to be under our control. Otherwise, you will be arrested. And there were long periods of time. There was, like, I think a period of eight weeks that I never left the house. And I would just look over the balcony and just totally miss my freedom. And I don't think if anybody has been deprived of freedom that much that they can truly understand mm. how captivating freedom seems when you don't have it. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.